Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. This is Rudy Zavala, first undercard fight of the night, unbeaten in 17 contests. 13 KOs, ladies and gentlemen, Rudy Zavala. Temperature, open air here, by the way, up about 90 degrees. Early evening at Caesars Palace, the modern-day capital of boxing. Referee is Richard Steele and Pedro Decima here, the Argentinian, looking to get back into the world title picture, the former WBC champion at this weight, 8 stone 10. I tell you, we've got some cracking undercard fights here tonight to keep you entertained before the big one between Holmes and Holyfield. So don't go away. We've got it all live for you on Sky Sports. Color check, Pedro Decima, Argentina, white trunks, Rudy Zavala from California, the NABF, North American Boxing Federation champion. He's the man in the blue. Glenn, this shapes up to be a very interesting little battle indeed. It certainly does. On Pierre, it looks a, a very good fight with the, the Ola Decima, former world champion, looking to get back in the, in the top lane. And Zavala, who's, who's one of the rising stars in California, looking for a title shot. So it, it looks to be a very good opening fight. Just confirmation of the colours for you. Decima with a record of 29 wins and three defeats. Zavala, 16 wins, no defeats, one draw. That was against Johnny the Torch Vasquez. But Zavala won the return. Both, by the way, with exactly the same reach here, 65 inches. And a lot of punches hitting the air. Neither of them seem to have found their timing just yet. They've had a nice... It's a fast start. None of them's really connected with good shots. But they're off to a, a fast start. Decimal looks to have the, the stronger of the punches. His punches seem to be landing with a more of a thump. Decima won the WBC championship against Paul Bank. Only got seven and a half thousand dollars for it, but lost it in his first defense against the Japanese challenger, and he was down six times in that Decima. Zavala has got a pretty good reputation, in fact, some rave reviews, but uh, the boxing critics wondering just how good he really is. Tonight may tell us. And this is his first major test, so we should get some answers tonight. It's only 12 minutes past six in the evening in Las Vegas. We're out in the center of the Mojave Desert, and the crowd is going to build up and build up and build up with all the celebrities arriving as the night goes on here and builds up towards the world heavyweight title fight itself. Decima on, on quite a few occasions has hit the canvas in his career. I know in his world title fight that he lost, he was down six times, so I think Zavala will be looking to get a... Zavala will be looking to get a big shot on early. End of the opening round. Two fighters going back to their corner. Referee Richard Steele there in the middle, a man who's handled several big fights out here, of course, and uh, some pretty contentious ones as well. Well, there's Pedro Decima. And there's his records for you. 32 fights, 29 wins. He's won 20 of them by knockout, so he carries a bit of a dig. Uh, the three defeats on his record. He came to Las Vegas for the first time in May 1988 and impressed promoter Bob Arum and tended to stick around a bit. There he is scoring with that good right hand in the first round. Here's a, a clip of Zavala throwing his own shots, but Desma got him with a, a, a nice right uppercut on the way in. It's surprising. Zavala doesn't look just four years younger than Desma, or Desma looks more than four years older. He does, doesn't he? Desma's 28, Zavala is 24. Good aerial shot there of the famous arena built on the Caesars Palace parking lot. 
and you'd have loved a ringside seat at some of the big battles they've staged here going back to Benitez Leonard back in 1979 when the whole Caesars Palace circus started up really in boxing terms Decima white trunks here as yet nobody's really scored with a with a big shot although you know and if they do both men are, are bangers so it could be interesting if one gets through it's good work from Decima and then the left on the counter from Zavala and Decima just as Glenn was saying that is the man who is caught up at about five he'll have to take an eight count three knockdown rule is in effect first blood to Zavala second round crashes home the right hand too Decima just left himself a bit open there sucker punch really he did it was it was a long movement punch and he he stood for it and he's he's having some dodgy moments at the minute the fact is Zavala's really trying to lay the pressure on pinning him in that corner good uppercuts going in one of those body shots looked a bit low but Zavala just wants to hit him with everything at the moment he senses he's got Decima on the run here he might be right Zavala's got to be careful in, himself in there, especially if he stands straight in front of Decima, because Decima can bang a little bit as well. Decima was going to have boxed the uh, Olympic gold medalist Kennedy McKinney, who's the USBA champion, but McKinney's drug problems have recurred and he's out of the ring for the moment. So it's Decima against Zavala. It's a good chance for Zavala this to put the name of an ex-world champion onto his record. Yes, certainly that would be a, a good name to have on there. And also it's a shorter fight, which is a, is a good step up the ladder. You're in with a, a live opponent who's still got a fight left in him. Chance for Decima to get back onto the scene, really, but the early indications are that Zavala's youth and greater ambition may prevail. Well, that's a good right hand from Decima. Coming back well, he's been on the floor in this round. Uh, coming back strongly. Well, as I said earlier, he's been on the floor in, in quite a few of his fights, and he's getting up. So he, you know, the indications are that he is tough. Oh, both landing with some uh, solid headshots at the end of the second round there. Good round, that one. There is the temperature. Now, look at that. Glenn at ringside over 110 degrees about 111 degrees is the temperature unbelievable temperature to fight in very very hot well I can remember seeing Colin Jones and Milton McCrory fight in Las Vegas open air and it was something like that on that occasion and we had to commentate with wet towels on our necks it was that hot suffocating heat you can get here and there's the knockdown for Pedro Decima. He landed a couple himself and then got caught. Yeah, he like landed. That. He landed with his own shot and just stood in there instead of landing and then getting out. He just stayed around too long, a little bit too open. He was a little bit off balance as well, and he fell awkwardly on his arm. Decima here had an upset win over Jesse Benavides, who's now a WBO champion. He lost against the high-class Louis Espinosa also had a win over Robert Shannon, uh, the US Olympian of 1984. So, there's plenty of useful form on Decima's record. It's really a question of whether he can resurrect his career after the loss of the world title. Yes, it's a, it's a tough fight for the young Zavala. His, his camp, you know, hopefully know what they're doing, putting them in here. Yeah, can go one of two ways, really, can't it? When you fight a guy like Decimar, his pride can help him to produce a really good performance, knowing that if he loses, it's probably just about the end of the road. Or he may be that he is shot. He may be on the way down. That's right. The Valor just landed with a couple of good right hands. Underway out, 
That temperature, by the way, luckily will go down as the evening wears on here. Thank goodness for that, because it's really, it's unreasonable to expect fighters to perform in these conditions. Now, they're going to feel it if it gets to be a long, hard, grueling fight, if they're not already. So Vallas changed his tactics a little bit in this round, although he just caught him with a short jab. So, yes, I think that has hurt him. But you just seem to go down there with a the jab. Flash knockdown. Steele asks him if he's okay. He nods, but he was blinking quite heavily. And there's no doubt about it, he's feeling the weight of Zavala's punches. Down in the second and now the third round. And a minute to go just under. Yes, he's hurt again. Zavala caught him with a good shot there and he, he just stumbled backwards. Zavala is starting to find the range quite well and get some leverage into his shots as well. Good right uppercut inside there. And Decima's being outgunned at the moment. And Zavala, he's found the range. He's doing a good job here. He's just got to be a little bit careful as he comes in. He, doesn't, he hasn't got to rush it too much. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing. And he'll wear Decima out. Last few seconds of this third round and Decima down again and in trouble. Bad round for him. Back coming up for the fourth round here. Pedro Decima, the former WBC champion at Super Bantamweight in the white trunks, but down twice in this one against rising prospect Rudy Zavala from Costa Mesa, California. Zavala trying to get to work with the left-right combinations. And he's got a swelling too underneath the left eye, Decima. His face is puffing up. He looks to have that kind of skin that just might cut and swell. Yeah, the skin often gets affected when a, a fighter's been in a lot of fights as well and he's getting a little bit older. You know, they tend to mark up and, and bruise up a lot worse. Zavala looking younger, meaner, more eager. Yeah, Zavala's doing a good job and he's getting the best of him with his jab and he's also working better inside. He's just got to be careful he doesn't get get her with a, a shot back from Decima. Well, a victory here is going to put Zavala into the world title frame. Big promotion here, by the way. Arena holding 16,100. And it will be nearly full by big fight time for the World Heavyweight Championship fight. Ringside seats, $700 if you've got the cash. Desma's left eye is getting quite swollen now. Took a few good jabs this round on it. right uppercut inside Zavala doesn't seem to be so much in Decima's punches either anymore that's a good right though from him he's not quite finished yet no it certainly doesn't look like he's he's just gonna he's just coming here for payday he's in there to to give his best and he's gonna work all the way but it just looks as if Zavala may be a little bit too young, too strong, and too eager for the Decima. Closing seconds of the round. 
Decimus come back with some decent shots in the last minute or so of this round. A couple of right hands have got through. End of the round. That's the uh, that's the view you get looking down from the Caesars Palace Hotel itself down into the arena. Uh, we're quite near the uh, tennis courts here as well, where Pancho Gonzalez, the great tennis player, is the coach. Nadal looks the problem. It does, it's swelling up, it looks like it's just getting near the close and they're working on it quite hard there. <laughs> Trying to push the swelling out the, out the way of the eye. It's a very painful business. Computer printout showing that Zavala is landing more punches. And you didn't really need a computer to tell you it either. Okay. The are a lot calmer in the Vallas corner. Move inside, we move. Well, I think they know they've got things quite nicely under control at the moment. It's, uh, as you said, Glenn, I think a question of him not getting careless. Fifth round, he's had the better of it so far, and he'll be clearly ahead. It's due to go 10, this one. Uh, Rudy Zavala in the blue trunks. One of Zavala's wins, by the way, was a knockout of Virgil Opinio of the Philippines, who was a man who gave uh, Scotland's Donny Hood a pretty good argument. So that wasn't bad form. Zavala uses that jab well, but at times he just goes to sleep with it. I think he'd do better to throw a, a few more and bring his combinations off of it. It's a good, strong jab. And the heads coming close together there. And looks like a point being deducted from Desima now. It looks as if he's got a bit of a cut as well. Oh, yes, there's a lot of blood on his chest. Yep, that's bad. Oh, look at that. He can go Clash of heads. I heard Richard Steele say he thought it was accidental. Oh, that is messy, isn't it? Now, is he going to let this go on? Yes, the, doctors, the doctor just said there he can go on because it's on the head. And it looks like it's running down the side of the head and not into the eye, but it was, a, it was bleeding quite bad. If it gets stopped at this stage because of that and it's accidental, they'll simply tot up the scorecards. The head's really cracking together in this, the fifth round. As if poor old Pedro Decima didn't have enough problems. He looks as if he's uh, a recent escapee from a Spanish bull ring, doesn't he, at the moment? That's a nasty cut, and that, that is starting to run his eye now. There's a lot of blood coming from there. I think he's got one chance, and that's to try and knock Zavala out as quick as he can. Richard Steele, the referee, will have it in his mind that Decima is looking to get his career back on track. It's an important fight for him, this. He won't want to stop it prematurely. On the other hand, if Decima can't see out of the eye, on safety grounds, he may want to step in. It's not seeming to go into the eye at the moment. It's flowing down by the side. There's a, an awful lot of blood coming out. Zavala covering up quite well. One body shot getting through. He's being made to miss a lot, Zavala. A lot of his punches hitting the gloves and some of them just air as well. Two fighters going back to the corner and of course Pedro Decima will have to have plenty of work done. There's that gash on the left side of the forehead. He's going to need some stitches in that later on. 
it's a question of whether they can stem it. At this corner, if they've got a good cut man in there, they might be able to do something with it, but it's it's a nasty cut. You got a chance to stop him. You can't stop him. Get back. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Reach. I know that. Okay. Don't worry about it. Hey, no, no, well, I think you heard some of the conversation there as we look back on some of the action from yeah, the round. I think that's where the cut started there. It just seemed to, Zavala's head just clashed with, with Desmond's forehead. There we see it. And the blood instantly started running down and he shows where it is. And they haven't been able to stop it. Richard Steele, the referee, was saying, well, I'm going to give you a chance to stop it. And that, looking back, now, they've done quite a little job on it for the moment. It's just a question of whether it cuts up again. Oh, the gum shield coming out there by the look of it of Zavala's there, or something anyway. As a left hook landed right at the start of the round from Desmond. He may go for it now. Well, I think time's not on his side. I think he's got to. I think his corner will have said it's a, it's a bad cut. Again, it's, it's open already. So I think his corner will have said it's bad. Get out there and try and end this fight. Zavala. He's opening up, body shot, down goes Decima, and the odds against him mounting all the time. I wonder if Richard Steele is going to... Yes. Yes, he's going to finish it, and that had to be a sensible decision. That is a bad cut. The blood is all over the place. It's flowing into the eyes. Zavala was on top. He'd scored three knockdowns, and he's won this one on a stoppage. <laughs> Goodness me, that is a gory sight, isn't it? It is a nasty cut, and it is bleeding very heavily. Thank you, Bob, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Clash of heads. Thank you, Bob Aram, for giving me this opportunity, says Zavala. Bob Aram will like that, won't he? <laughs> I think this is the finish. I think it's a, a good body shot that, that ends it in the end. There, it just goes in round the, round behind the right hand. I think Decima was a pretty dispirited fighter by this stage here. I think he knew that uh, the game was up, really, with the cut as well. Yes, he had a lot of problems, and it was a, a good shot at the end. And I think it was a wise time to stop it. He'd been down three times, and uh, the cut made it even worse. So Zavala, National uh, North American Boxing Federation champion, still unbeaten, and might he be world title material? He looks very good. I think the fight that obviously they're going to be rooting for is Kennedy McKinney. Yep, and that could happen, of course. That's a high-profile win for Zavala on a big Las Vegas show like this one. I want to thank uh, Bob Arum, TV KO, and Bruce Trumper for this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Steele has to step in to stop this contest. Due to a very severe cut, the end comes at 39 seconds of the sixth round. The winner by TKO, still undefeated, his record now 17.